Hey everyone, it's Kayvon with Scary Art. So, alcohol ink painting and safety rules around it. You should always try to be safe when you're doing any kind of art, um, but you gotta know what you're doing um, and what chemicals you're using so that, that you know what kind of safety stuff you could look for and find. So, first and foremost for alcohol ink, please, please, please ventilate your room. If you're open a window, um, if you're using if you're using 91% or 99% isopropyl alcohol, ventilate the room, do it in a garage, do it outside, okay? If you're using denatured alcohol, like what I typically use, um, I would, especially in these times of the pandemic, I would recommend using a fan above you, moving the circulating the air, and then using a fan to push the air out of the room through a window or a doorway or something to get it out and dispersed. Because fumes from denatured alcohol, it, it's fuel, okay? It's fuel to uh, basically power uh, lanterns and, and stuff like that outside. So um, it is recommended that the fumes, the fumes are very flammable, basically. So when the fumes go up, they collect. They catch, if there's a spark, it'll catch on fire. And we don't want anyone doing alcohol ink with a burned face or burned eyebrows. That's, that's not good. Um, second thing, when you're ventilating, those fumes come up, so you want to make sure, now for isopropyl, again, is a little different, fumes are fumes, isopropyl fumes are, I believe, are not as um, dangerous as, as uh, fumes from denatured alcohol, so I would recommend getting a 3M mask with the 6... 0923 cartridges. These cartridges are for natural gas, for organic vapor, um, and they will protect you against the fumes entering your lungs. And they basically mount on a 3M P100 mask, and they basically go on like this, and they clip, and it's recommended to use them for a certain duration. I'm not exactly sure. It depends on, read the packaging. It just depends on how much alcohol your ink you're using and what type of chemicals you're using um, if you're using denatured or isopropyl. Um, the second thing is gloves. You want to use nitrile gloves. Um, the reason why I say use gloves when you're doing alcohol ink because if you get ink on your fingers that's residue from the alcohol ink you go and you know if you if you forget to wash your hands because you're thinking it's just ink and you go do, like if you're cooking or if you're doing any kind of uh, activity around a fire flame, your fingers can catch on fire and severely burn you, okay? I've seen videos, I've seen uh, pictures of people on posts um, with that, with burned fingers because they forgot to wash their hands, they were in a hurry, they ran downstairs and they had to cook or do something and it caught on fire. The second thing is these alcohol inks I mean, it's, it's pure pigment, but it's chemical pigment. And you just don't want this stuff on your fingers and hands. Like, it's, it's just, just take the precautions now, you know, and, and don't risk it. So I recommend that. I recommend nitrile gloves at all times. You can get a box for fairly cheap. I know that during these times, the pandemic times, um, you may not be able to find them as easily. You may want to look on Amazon. I'll try to see if I can add them off the store if that's available. Um, I've had this box for quite some time. It's got like 150 pairs in there, and I bought it probably uh, about five months ago. So that's, I think that's it. Um, you can also wear safety glasses. I've noticed when you're using the blow dryer and you're shooting the ink and the alcohol, sometimes it sprays up. Safety glasses always help. You can never go wrong with safety glasses. You don't want that stuff to squirt in your eye because it burns. And then as denatured alcohol specifically, you do not want that in your eyes because you got to do the proper wash for your eyes. Um, other than that, I know that there are other 3M masks, the particular 3M mask, which is right here. I don't recommend using these for alcohol inks only because they only pr they protect you from dust and particulates. So if you're sanding down your canvas, if you're sanding anything down, if you live in a moldy house, if you've got severe allergies, this may help you. But for gases, fumes, organic vapors, these are the cartridges you need to get. And this is safety, right? We want everyone to be able to do art as long as possible. So these are the measures that I take. Um, 
unless I'm outside and I've got the window, the garage door open, or I've got a window open with the fumes going from one location to another in the garage, then I'm okay. But you can never be too safe. Just wear it. Um, the other thing I, I like to use with alcohol safety, when we're doing, uh, when we're doing this, the Kamar varnish, and we're sealing it, you want to wear, you want to wear your mask. You want to wear gloves. You don't want to get this stuff on your hands. This stuff stinks, by the way. So, be safe out there. Um, uh, that's all I could say. Um, be safe. Keep doing art, and please subscribe. And I'll have more videos up on different topics. I'm still working on the video on the two ugliest color combinations to make something beautiful. So. Please uh, visit my blog. I've got color swatches there. I'm doing another color swatch video of the newest colors. Um, stay tuned. Thank you. Have a good day.